do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos friends let us solve next question number 2 of physics paper neat 2016 friends so let us solve question number 2 which says if the magnitude of sum of two vectors is equal to the magnitude of difference of the two vectors the angle between these vectors is that means the if the magnitude of the sum of two vectors if i have a vector say a and a vector suppose b they need not have same magnitudes but if i have a vector a and vector b are two any individual vectors then it says that if the sum of the two vectors a plus b vector if the magnitude of the sum of the two vectors like this is equal to the magnitude of the difference of the two vectors so this is the given condition this is given if this is given then you have to find the angle between these vectors theta you have to find so basically the question is that if uh, a plus b mod and a minus b mod are same what is the angle between the two vectors if i think uh, in general without mathematics if i think of a general concept i know that if i have any vector say a and any vector b so if i take uh, particularly vector a in this direction and vector b in this direction then a plus b will be in this direction and similarly a minus b will be in this direction and the angle will be 90 degree because i know that if uh, i keep one vector same and this is my b vector then this will be minus b vector then the sum of this a plus b will be in this direction and uh, the same amount it will be here mirror image and obviously the angle between them if, if the magnitude is are same obviously this case the magnitude will be same then the angle between the two vectors first two vectors will be 90 degree and in that case only it will be same i have to keep the magnitude same to keep the magnitude same i have to keep this same and to keep the magnitude same i have to keep this same so the only the sign is reversed or where this length will remain same so this is possible only when the angle between the two vectors is 90 degree anyway if i geometrically this uh, is more intuitive otherwise uh, if i consider one vector here another vector in any direction another vector in any direction suppose here that this is a this is b suppose this is any angle theta then a plus b will be something like that and uh, a minus b you can see here this is a minus b vector then uh, it will be something like that so it can you can clearly see that this is not actually matching or they are not equal so this condition is never going to satisfy mathematically how do you prove this so this is all about your your intuition but uh, what about this uh, a plus b and a minus b are same so magnitude of any given if i square both sides of the equations then uh, a plus b this one the square of this is uh, a square plus b square then uh, plus because this is the if i consider this as r r1 or r2 magnitude of r1 what what is the square of that uh, magnitude because that is the parallelism law the resultant uh, r is uh, or r square is a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta so that i'll write here a square b square 2ab cos of 
theta theta being the angle between the two vectors similarly that must equal to the difference of that when you take the difference then it is uh, a square plus b square minus 2ab cos theta because that is uh, 180 cos 180 minus theta when you talk about cos 180 minus theta that is uh, cos is in the second quadrant and uh, being negative that uh, minus 2ab factor will come so therefore this will become a square plus b square minus of 2ab cos of theta if i solve this uh, i will get this implies a square uh, plus b square will cancel out from both sides this one will go to the other side and this will become 4 ab cos theta and this side will be 0. If this side is 0 then uh, I'll write that 4 is never 0 magnitudes are not 0 that means uh, cos theta is 0. If cos theta is 0 we know that cos of uh, 90 is 0. If cos of 90 is 0, then I can write that cos theta, theta must be equal to 90 degree. Theta must be 90 degree. So therefore, uh, this is the right answer to this question. Okay, thank you.